This episode's big story is Ubuntu 8.10 Intrepid Ibex has been released. Ubuntu 8.10 has a lot of server type features and a lot of desktop related features. One of the major desktop features and highlights of this release is the ability to detect and work with a much wider range of 3G hardware. Uh, things such as uh, built-in modems to laptops, external dongles, or even phones that are, that are tethered over USB, and if your hardware is just right, even Bluetooth. The major driver of this has been the new version of Network Manager that's going to be included in this version of Ubuntu 8.10. Another new feature is the ability to write your installation of Ubuntu onto a large USB thumbstick. This is handy if you are going to be working away from the home for a while or from your office. You can write your configuration to a USB thumbstick, remove it, go to a computer that supports booting off of a USB drive, and you can run your entire setup from that drive. That's definitely a great form of portable computing. If you know where you're going, you have somewhere you can plug into, then you can take almost, essentially, your entire computer in your pocket. The Linux kernel, since all of the drivers in Ubuntu are module-based, can automatically detect, can detect the hardware drivers that it needs to load at boot up, so you don't have to worry about having just the right set of drivers and all those kinds of things that, with older versions of Linux or with Windows that you would have a problem with. That's one of the advantages to having module-based kernels uh, drivers for the Linux kernel. The uh, other nice thing for the desktop is the new guest environment login. Basically, all this is, is it's kind of simple and straightforward in its approach, but it's also very handy. You have a guest login that is a one-time session that someone can log in, use the web, check their email. You know, a lot of things are online, a lot of web-based apps like Gmail and Yahoo Mail and other things like that. Somebody can check their mail, do whatever they need to do online, and then when they log out, the entire session is wiped. Also, while they're in that guest environment, it's more locked down, and they can't get to a lot of your personal files and things like that. That's kind of neat if, uh, you know, we're geeks and we want to have uh, a computer in the living room for when guests come over. You can have a computer set out. Oh, yeah, sit down, use it, do whatever you want. I don't care because as soon as they log out, it wipes it out. So that's pretty neat. Um... On the server side of things, Ubuntu has added uh, a virtual machine builder that can be done at the command line. They claim let someone build an entire virtual machine in under five minutes. That's pretty huge for um, large rollouts of virtual machines and, and scripting that entire process. They claim that, that that's going to be a, one of their key features of their server version. Now, it should be noted, this is not a long-term support version, so it might not be recommended to run on your servers. But it could be that some of these improvements with KVM and and this virtual machine builder might be worth it for you. It's going to have to be a call that you'll have to make. Um, the other thing that's also good for corporate and for home users, especially those of us with laptops, is Ubuntu has added the capability for encrypted private directories that can be automatically mounted at login if you supply the correct password. So when you have your machine off in your bag or in your trunk or, or even on your desktop, if, if somebody takes that and you're not logged in, they can't get to the data. It's completely locked up. So that's definitely a great security enhancement. Um, in terms of the UI, uh, Ubuntu 8.10 does have a improved theme. They also have something called New Human, which is a slightly darker version of the kind of standard orange and brown Ubuntu theme. Overall, it's still very orange and brown for my taste. I'm not a very big fan of that look. It's something I've talked about quite a bit in the past in my previous reviews of Ubuntu. I do like the darker look, um, especially when I'm up late and I'm working. It's nice to have something that, um, you know, isn't so hard on the eyes, doesn't strain the eyes so much. That said, I'd still prefer to see something like maybe like a blue human or a... Uh, or, uh, whites and grays and or, or anything really except for brown greens greens would be good but the brown and orange thing I'm really done with and I think for the most part most people are uh, new human goes part of the way by doing darker colors it's more like dark chocolate and milk chocolate but overall I'm not uh, completely thrilled with it I think though that this is going to be a, a great release it's, it's gonna be fun to stack this up we have open Sousa 11 coming out soon and fedora 10 in about a month so Ubuntu 8.10, while 
kind of one of the first distributions to release in this new batch. I think it's setting a pretty good bar here that the other distributions will have to try to match. Uh, I don't know, some of the things that they, they talk about, like the 3G support and stuff like that, I'm going to test in a more extensive review. I'll probably release a video on using the new uh, 3G support with a I have an external USB Verizon Air card. I'll be curious to see how well that works, and, and hopefully, I mean, it would be it would be great if that entire thing is... Uh, is simply just a click in Network Manager now. So overall, Ubuntu 8.10 is looking good. You can download this copy at ubuntu.com slash download.